Sticking with the government shutdown, our Contessa Brewer is live at a port in New Haven, Connecticut, and she does have more on how the shutdown is affecting operations on both land, air, and sea. Good morning, Contessa. Hi there, David. Yeah, you know, Ports Nationwide, there's growing concern about the length of this government shutdown and when they're going to start seeing real impact. I spoke to that with the head of the Port of Los Angeles over the weekend who said, uh, look, we have Customs and Border Protection showing up and doing the job of keeping the port safe and Coast Guard as well, but they're not getting paid. Let me give you an example. The ships that come into U.S. waters need what's called a certificate of financial responsibility. It's basically proof that they have insurance if something dire happens. And right now, the Coast Guard has a message up on its website saying these COFERS are not being uh, reviewed at this point. So there are some 300 ships, we're told, by a business that deals with these regulatory issues that currently don't have the COFERS. They can't come into U.S. waters. Additionally, uh, if you go to the U.S. Coast Guard website, they say that the electronic system is up and running, but they're not going to process anymore. Federal agencies are responsible in Our many cases for taking foreign trash very... off of the ships. Go ahead. Go ahead and play it. I'll, t I'll describe it afterwards. Our industry runs very tightly logistically, and, and time is money, and, and you know, it may cost one owner X amount and may cost another owner X amount, and, and across the industry, it's, it's going to have an impact. Okay, so Joe Gross is in charge of dry cargo shipping for D'Amico shipping lines. And he says, look, the agencies that are responsible for getting the foreign garbage off of these ships can't show up. The ships are turning around. They're going back to sea with all the garbage on board for sometimes weeks at a time. Uh, not only that, there's a refueling issue because there's no safety inspectors to oversee these ships refueling at anchor out in the harbor. This costs the ships between 12 hours and 48 hours. He says they just can't afford that. Let's talk about airlines. Right now, we know in Houston and Miami, there were closures at TSA checkpoints because of callouts. Nationally, the rate of sick calls more than doubled. The FAA safety inspectors are not on the job. Air traffic controllers are suing President Trump over the government shutdown. Even dairy farmers that were supposed to be getting payments because of the tariff issue aren't receiving those checks. And guys today in D.C., even more problems, shutdowns because of the snow.